Hello, brains! Thank you so much for electing me president! I am so honored! I mean, just, I knew the channel was doing well, but wow! Anyway, now that I'm president, I'm gonna make sure that every student gets a great education. I'm gonna make sure that the country is completely safe. And most importantly, I'm gonna put a basket of fidget toys on every teacher's desk. <coughs> president Jessica. Apparently I can't do any of that. If you're wondering why I'm in the Oval Office today, it's because mental health, including ADHD, doesn't get the attention or funding it deserves. And supposedly, that's because people with mental health issues don't vote. Let's change that perception. And while we're at it, let's clear up some confusion. Turns out, while the president gets all the attention during elections, they don't have all the power once they're elected. They can't even make laws. That's actually a good thing, because it means if I was elected president, I couldn't mandate that all citizens eat peanut butter and jelly sandwiches on Wednesdays just because I like them. Oh, thank you. It's good to be president. Mm, no one person should have all that power. Certainly not me. You know who does have the power to make laws? We do. But most of us haven't been using it. Oh, thank you. Here's how it works. This is the president. This is us. Not all of us, obviously, because we can't all fit. So we elect people to go for us and make sure our needs and voices are heard. Together, we are the ones who get to make laws and decide how our tax money gets spent. Cough, cough, fidget toys, cough, cough. This is Congress, and their job is to speak for us. But if your voting process looks like mine usually does, I don't know any of these people. Multiple choices usually see. Your voice isn't really being heard. Look, if you couldn't make it to a work meeting, you'd have someone speak up for you about the donut policy in the break room. And you'd ask someone you know. You wouldn't trust a total stranger to know how you feel about donuts, that you hate the crummy kind and that that's all that's left because some people take two and they should really make a policy against that. And you wouldn't trust someone else to decide who should speak for you because who knows, maybe they'll argue that you shouldn't get donuts at all. And no donuts is no solution. My name is Jessica McCabe and I approve this message. Paid for by donuts for Jessica McCabe. Maybe you don't trust politicians, but whether you trust them or not, decisions about donuts are happening in Washington every day. And someone is speaking about your donuts. Who do you want talking about your donuts? You don't know? <laughs> Neither do I. Let's find out. What would we need to know before we decide who we want speaking for us? Their name helps. How do we find out their names? If you got a sample ballot, it'll be there. But if you're like me and forgot slash possibly lost yours, there are plenty of sites that can give you the same information. Ballotpedia is one of them. Just type in your address and click. Okay, cool. Presidential candidates, we're tired of hearing about them. Where are my Congress people? Under Congress, right. Let's look at my senators. Great, these are my choices. Kamala Harris and Loretta Sanchez. They all look very nice. I know nothing about them. Uh, let's see what they say about themselves. Website. Ooh, issues. Okay, so one of my donut issues is mental health, and that is not an option. Okay, education. Okay, cool. Harris supports identifying early developmental needs. She might care about fidget toys. What about Sanchez? Okay, she cares about early education, and healthcare seems to be important to her. Let's see what other people say about them. Harris is endorsed by the California Teachers Association, both former senators, and the president. Let's see what they've done. You don't want someone saying they're for donuts, but every time donuts comes up, they vote no donuts. There's a website where you can see their past voting records. Harris doesn't have a voting record yet, and Sanchez didn't vote on a lot of these. Okay, I still don't know who to vote for. Let's try Google. What, there was a debate? Facebook, why didn't you tell me? A play. As you go through this process, you might find you don't agree 100% with any of the candidates. Chances are you don't agree 100% with any of your friends either, but you'd still send one to go to the meeting to talk about the donut situation. You would just make sure that it's one who cares about donuts. And if you really can't find anybody you like, that's why it's important to vote in smaller elections too. National candidates don't come out of nowhere. Today's city council member could become your next state senator, who can become your next congressman, who can become a future presidential candidate. 
Somewhere right now, there's a school board member who could be sitting in this chair someday. The real one. That's why every vote counts. And if you really can't find anybody who agrees with you, remember, they're just people. Once they're in office, you can contact them and explain the situation and help them understand why it's important to you. So for now, figure out who best represents your needs and beliefs and get out there and vote for them. But how? Where? When? This is gonna take forever. Voting is hard. George Washington, this is your fault. Why does this have to be a democracy? <laughs> Google, how do I vote? Oh, that was surprisingly easy. That's it for this week. Special thanks to YouTube Space LA for letting us use their awesome Oval Office set, Joe Maleka Voigt for helping me write this episode, Reggie Brown for his cameo, and to the Patreon brains, without whom this wouldn't be possible. If you like this video, subscribe. And if you love this video and wanna see more things like it in the world, vote. If you have any trouble at all, you can call this number. And when you're done, tweet a pic of your I voted sticker with hashtag ADHD votes. Let me know what your donut issues are. Comment below, hit me up on Facebook or Twitter after following your local candidates, of course. To my international brains, I know this was a little America-centric. I'll be back to my regular content next week. Bye, brains.